Correct. Yeah, just uh, uh, north uh, outside of private property. Uh, he was captured on uh, a video of walking. We're, we're fairly certain that that's the, the individual uh, mark that we're looking for uh, based on witnesses, owners, uh, owner of the company that he worked for. Um, so that's why we're trying to focus our, our um, efforts this morning were to that area behind uh, the area that we saw him walking on. And unfortunately, we weren't uh, uh, successful. We couldn't, uh, haven't seen any clues, any clothing, nothing that would lead us to, to the point that he's in that area. But it was, it was about uh, 60, 60 to 70 volunteers, both fire, law enforcement, and then family members, mostly, that are out here covering that area. State police uh, had aviation again out this morning, as well as uh, state police divers. Uh, extensively covered that uh, Divers Lake area. So they had full visual of the, the lake in the bottom, so they were able to uh, come back and we were fairly, fairly certain that there's uh, nothing found in that area as well. Those were checked and because of the, the, the uh, both by aviation and by foot, so there's not any foot traffic leading up to the water, so we're able to check that and see if, you know, if there, ha there had to be a way to get in there, so we're able to check those areas as well between last yesterday afternoon and then this morning as well. And we are going back and double checking areas that we checked yesterday, barns, outhouses, sheds, abandoned buildings. Um, pretty much we went from about a quarter mile, now we're out to about a half a mile area. And we're probably extending out beyond a half a mile uh, today. Uh, it's, a, it's a mixture of some open fields, but then there's just a lot of hedgerows and ditches uh, that we've checked. Again, outbuildings, uh, private residences, any buildings that were not secured that he might be able to get into. We've checked those from campers to, again, to barns. Uh, sheds, areas like that, uh, vehicles that he might have been in. Um, and then from there, it is into some wooded areas and there's some heavily wooded areas and uh, with ledges and, and fairly tough terrain to kind of walk through, very thick brush. Um, but with the amount of people that we had, they were about five foot apart walking through these areas. So we're, we're very confident that the areas that we searched this morning, um, that we've covered it with uh, great certainty. Again, a heavily wooded area. There are some trails through that, but it's it's uh, wooded because we're not at full foliage. Some areas are fairly easy to, to see and look around, and some areas are gonna be more condensed and we have to walk a little bit slower. Um, at this point, we're just worried about any of the volunteer family members uh, or anyone getting injured. So we're taking some precautions, making sure that they're, they're careful out there and everybody's accounted for. I would say between 60 and 70 people. It is a lot of people and uh, you know, uh, that's what it's going to take, you know, to try to isolate those areas. But unfortunately, like I said, it's we, we're searching the areas that we think he's in. And after that, it's going to be uh, hopefully we get some more intelligence uh, from people that may have seen him. So we're always looking for people that uh, know Mark and have seen him um, to please call 911, let us know uh, or the sheriff's office so we can get some information. He does. Yeah. I mean, it's it's uh, through the family members and conversations that he, you know, grew up in this area his whole life. He knows all these areas. Uh, off the road, uh, you know, through the trails, a lot of trails through these woods, a lot of ponds, open water. Um, so that's why we're checking all those those uh, type places. Yeah, some are, some are fairly easy, you know, some are okay to walk up and then other ones are very, very dangerous to, to, to walk through. So, um, you know, it's, that's why it takes some time to get through this and get keep everybody organized, keep everybody safe. We'll evaluate probably this afternoon. We've got, uh, there's a state uh, forest ranger coming up and uh, we spoke to him on the phone. Um, so we'll have a conversation with him as well and kind of get to get, get our heads together and kind of figure out if there's a game plan or if any other in information comes to us, then we'll evaluate that as it goes throughout this day. But I'm fairly certain we'll be working throughout this afternoon uh, to this evening and then we'll reevaluate where we go from there.